us. So this is not uh, included in syllabus, but still uh, it is given as, you know, up until, uh, you know, PG syllabus and Naru. So we should also better cover this, uh, these two parts also from the uh, Pisces. Small topic. After this, let's go to Right. So, cardal fin or tail fin. So, in general, the fishes contain uh, cardal fin or uh, tail fin. Okay. So, that is useful for the propulsion, forward propulsion, and a munduku netadaki swimming disturbance. So, the tail fin is uh, helpful. So, in hippocampus, so which is known as sea horse, okay, just wait. So here, so sea horse. So in sea horse, so the tail is prehensile. That means it can, you know, uh, fold like a spring whenever it touches something. So it can uh, retract the tail. Okay, and it is less developed in. Uh, hippocampus, uh, the tail fin, but it is, uh, you know, uh, longer like a tail. Okay, it, it is prehensile. You should remember that word. It will again, again, uh, it will come. So then, stingrays, they do not contain the tail fin. Okay, in stingrays, the tail fin is completely absent. So basically, the caudal fin is three types. Basically, the caudal fin is of three types. So, first one is diffy circle. So, which means symmetrical, uh, you know. It is otherwise, yeah. So it is. Uh, okay. So it is. Uh, we can also call it as proto circle. So it is most primitive type of caudal fin. But out of three, so this is the uh, most primitive or old type of uh, undeveloped type of uh, caudal fin. And here, simple, the Diffie circle means symmetrical type of caudal fin. So this is called epicardal lobe. This is called hypocardal lobe. Okay. Upper lobe is called epicardal lobe. Lower lobe is called hypocardal lobe. And uh, in this type, the backbone reaches up to the tip of the tail. So here, it can reach up. So it will not go up or it will not bend down. So this kind of, uh, you know, uh, uh, caudal fin is uh, very primitive and it is uh, uh, symmetrical, both external and internal. Okay. So such type of uh, caudal fin is known as diffie circle or proto circle. Okay. So backbone reaches up to tip. So examples are very, very important. So here, modern cyclostomes, chimera, lung fishes. So mostly we should remember these. Dipnae fishes and Latimeria are the. So generally asked uh, questions 
in the examinations. Example for diffuser Kelvin, uh, the options generally they are given are, you know, Dipna fishes and Latimeria chalumne. Latimeria chalumne are, you know, Frasoterich or uh, Silicon fish. Sometimes, Manaku, Nenapur Jeptuta, Manaku, direct questions are the uh, indirect Jadukunta. So, Ikada, Manaki, the Liali, and then first lung fishes are the Dipna fishes and a vision idea. That is one thing. Another aspect is Latimeria and none. So, Dine, what do option low, Sila Khan, then is the Sila Khan, then the Latimeria exam, Sila Khan, the example Latimeria and a vision on a guide. Unka Jepalante, what a Mr. Dante options low, living cross out a region, Mr. Mr. Okay, living cross out regions are the silicon fishes. Example, Latimeria. Okay, so extinct cross, uh, cross out regions are osteolipids. Eustinipiran and osteolipids. So, man, in the depth of the idea, unte, then the answer is correct. Yes, sir. Ledu ante, ayo, uh, you know, only lung fishes are not correct. The base is already the classification of the classification. I have an idea. Undal. So, Ledu and Manaka Mark Potundi. Kavati, so we should be uh, very thorough in our uh, subject. Right? So, there is a fish called Chimera, which is generally known as rat fish or rat tailed fish. Rendu Okate, rat fish and rat tailed fish and Okate. So, uh, it is called isocircle. It is a type of diffuse circle. It is not separate. It is a type of diffuse circle called isocircle. So, in these, the rape gun, yellow gun, the board is So, the tail is very, very long. Okay, so here it looks like this backbone reaches here, and here lobes are very slightly, you know, uh, folded. So, this kind of uh, tail uh, fin is seen in Chimera that is called isocircle type of cardinal uh, fin, right. Then, right. So, second and most famous is heterocircle type of uh, tail fin. Okay, simple. The, the hypocardial lobe is very big than the uh, sorry, the epicardial lobe is very bigger than the hypocardial lobe, and uh, the backbone enters into upper lobe. Such kind of uh, tail fin is generally called as, you know, heterocircle type of uh, caudal fin. Okay. So, we have discussed uh, it is in elasmobranchi fishes. Okay. Or, here uh, we have to elasmobranchi fishes are options. I have to ask you elasmobranchi fishes. I have to ask you about the cartilaginous fishes. I have to ask you about the Okay, and option law, uh, cartilaginous species and it should leather some edo fish, uh, uh myliobates or uh, rhinobates, okay, or you know, raja or rhea, uh, uh lebode, or rhinodon, or rhinodon, either nation. Miku examples and nilas who rank in a vision idea on the okay, so idea on tene, miru. The answer is the same answer. That's the last move. But we should have that knowledge. Otherwise, we will mark it. Right. So, the answer is the same. Right. So, uh, 
హెట్రో సర్కిల్ అలాగానే ఫస్ట్ మనకు గుర్తు కావాల్సింది ఏంటి అంటే సో ఇలాస్మో బ్రాండ్ ఫిషెస్ ఓకే లైక్ స్కోలియడాన్ స్పిర్నా జైగినా క్రిస్టిస్ అదే ట్రైగాన్ ఇంకోడా డైనోడా టార్పిడో ఓకే సో ఆల్ దీస్ ఆర్ ది ఇలాస్మో బ్రాండ్ ఫిషెస్ అండ్ దిస్ ఈస్ ఆస్టియోలిపిస్ విచ్ ఈస్ ఎక్స్టింక్టెడ్ extincted fish right so that is also that also contains and these are the acipens which are and polydar so these are uh, bony fishes some bony fishes also contain you know uh, hydrocircle type of uh, you know the in the classification then uh, a table three tables gotti nenu rashan vid gurinchi సో అందులో చూస్తే మీకు ఇది ఉంటుంది సో ఎసిపెన్సర్ అండ్ పాలిడాన్ సో విచ్ ఆర్ ది కాంట్రాస్టియన్స్ ఓకే అండ్ హోలాస్టియన్స్ సో దెర్ ఈస్ అనదర్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ యునో హెట్రో సర్కిల్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ హెట్రో మీన్స్ అనీక్వల్ యాక్చువల్ ఓకే అనదర్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ హెట్రో సర్కిల్ కాడల్ ఫిన్ is you know hypo circle type of caudal fin so hypo circle type of caudal fin opposite to hetero circle okay so here the two unequal lobes are present and a uh, hypo caudal lobe is uh, bigger than the epicaudal lobe okay so the vertebral column enters into bigger hypocardal lobe okay so it is generally present in the you know flying fish okay like uh, clipselurus exocetus and some uh, extinct fishes like or primitive fishes like astrocotoms also uh, they contain this kind of uh, what we call the హైపోసర్కల్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ కార్డల్ ఫిన్ ఈస్ ప్రెసెంట్ ఓకే సో ఇఫ్ ద హైపో కార్డల్ లో ఈస్ లార్జర్ దెన్ ది ఎపీ కార్డల్ లో అండ్ ఇఫ్ ద బ్యాక్ బోన్ ఎండ్స్ టువర్డ్స్ ఆర్ టర్న్స్ టువర్డ్స్ ది హైపో కార్డ్ బిగ్ హైపో కార్డల్ లో సచ్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ such kind of lobes or caudal fin is known as hypo circle type of caudal fin and this one homo circle type of third and important one and the modern one is called homo circle type of you know uh, caudal fin okay so this question i think ekkada adigiru annante first time in a civil rasna pudu akada etla unde ante oka gender studies oka optional paper edo unde so appudu ee question adi so detail ga ante if two lobes are externally equal but internally unequal okay so what is the uh, type of caudal fin an adigina to put right so homo circle type means here uh, the externally both epicardal lobe and hypocardal lobe are you know equal in size and internally epicardal lobe is bigger hypocardal lobe is smaller and the vertebral column turns upside okay such kind of uh, you know uh, caudal fin is generally uh, called as
homo circle type of cardinal fin. Okay. So here examples are you know uh, helias like salmon, tuna. So modern fishes, uh, most of the modern fishes they, they contain this kind of and bite as you say. Chapel and Niguda, the homo circle type of the uh, surrounding low there, fishes and Niguda, homo circle type of cardal fitness and you there. So we will choose the Dantoka equal symmetrical government can and piston here. Right? So that is, and uh, there is uh, a modification type of homo circle. Okay, a modification type of uh, homo circle or modified homo circle. Is called Gephyra circle. So Gephyra circle is a kind of cardal fin. So example is Fiera Fiera spis. The vertebral column and fin greatly reduced in the tail region. So simply right now the better. Okay. So it is low inner lower. So vertebral column. Okay. So, this So this kind of uh, you know, and uh, both fins are not uh, divided or well developed. Okay, and uh, the vertebral column also it, it doesn't turn up or downside. Such kind of homo circle uh, type of uh, cardal fin is known as Gephyro circle type of uh, cardal fin. It is a modified homo circle. Example is Fieraspis. And there is another uh, kind so that is, you know, uh, abbreviated homo circle. So this is more or less, uh, you know, isocircle type. Okay. So example is polypterus, emia, lepidosteus. Tip of vertebral column is upturned with or without upturned fresh low. Okay. And a cloud to that in that line. Okay. So low one is allowed. This uh, vertebral column slightly upturned. And the ikadi the division and to a and fits it. Punchum is bagal slightly upturned vertebral column is present. That is called abbreviated type of homo circle. Uh, type of uh, uh, cardal fin, example, polypterus, emia, lepidas, yes. So, even the Olasti and Pandasti fishes are not. Okay, so a kind of bony fishes. So, that is about the types of cardal fins. And then, uh, scales. So, in vertebrates, the animals, they do contain some specific exoskeleton structures. So, in pieces or fishes, so scales are, uh, you know, the exoskeleton uh, structures of uh, fishes. So, there are two types of, uh, generally, in, in cardates, two types of Scales are present. Okay. One is epidermal scales. So, example, uh, that means they are derived from the epidermis, uh, snakes, birds, and uh, some mammals. Right. So, dermal scales. So, here in our skin, the uppermost layer is known as epidermis. 
Okay, so after that, the immediately next layer is known as dermis. So from the scales which are produced from the dermis, they are known as dermal scales. So these are present in fishes. Okay, epidermal scales, same snakes, birds, some mammals, okay. Dermal scales, the second layer of the skin. Okay, so from which these scales are originated. So those are known as dermal scales. So they are mesenchymal in origin, means they, they are derived from the mesoderm of the embryo. Generally, the scales are, uh, they overlap each other. Okay, so there is a fish called Uh, parrot. Okay, so scientifically, its scientific name is Lota species. Uh, and eel fishes like Anguilla. So the scales are mosaic. So here, Mosaic contained here. First of all, the scales overlap each other. Scales and it went to the complete that with the input cover. Yes, so that is uh, overlapping or uh, imbricate manner. Okay, whereas in barrot or lota and eels, scales are mosaic. So, mosaic means simple. The Scales they do not touch one scale do not uh, touch other scale or overlap other scale. So that kind of scales are known as uh, you know the mosaic scales. Right. So remember bottom dweller fishes called a family called siluridae so this siluridae family fishes they do not contain the scales they are a kind of you know bottom dwelling uh, fishes okay siluridae family so another one chimeras polyda and essipensa okay so in these animals so the scales are not complete throughout the uh, body. They are restricted to some particular regions of the body, like head or uh, some uh, trunk, some part, or ventral or dorsal, like that. Only a particular area contains the scales. Okay, the, throughout the body, the scales are not absent, not present. Okay, so then types of scales. Right. So, there are almost five kinds of tails, uh, sorry, scales are present. So, first one is cosmoid scales. So, they are present in extinct fishes like osteoderms and osteolipids. Both of these uh, fishes are extinct fishes. Okay. So, they, they are not present in modern day fishes okay so if you cut the cosmoid type of scale there will be four layers from the outer corner okay so one is outer enamel like gonine layer okay so second one is dentil like so this is one like this okay so one more so here in cosmoid type of uh, scales so outer layer is you know garnine layer okay which is enamel like g okay so then second layer is made up of caspin 
so it is major layer okay so it is thick line so that is made up of cosmin so this one is cosmin and the third layer is so a spongy bone so this is also known as iso pidine and guda vista so right so last layer is uh, made up of compact bone so that is uh, the structure of plasmoid uh, type of scales examples so osteoderms which are extincted and osteolipids which are also extincted extincted okay so then after plasmoid so then placoid scale so you you all well aware of this uh, you know a uh, kind of uh, scale so so it contains a basal rhomboid or diamond shaped rhomboid or diamond shaped basal plate is present so this kind of uh, you know rhomboid basal plate is present upon which a triradiate spine is present and uh, here is a cavity at the base of the uh, you know uh, spine or the scale so that is called uh, pulp cavity just like its structure is just like a teeth so this is a pulp cavity okay so this is called triradiate triradiate spine this one okay so the these their structure contains enamel and dentin okay so they they are generally known as dermal denticles okay so example is exclusively elasmobranch fishes elasmobranch fishes of the important feature in their having placoid scales so no other animal uh, fish contain this kind of uh, you know scale and third one is gonoid or rhomboid type of scale so they are simply they are simply diamond shaped scales their arrangement causes on the skin like a you know a floor or tile flow tile like arrangement like this so these are uh, you know gonoid or rhomboid why gonoid here uh, in its structure so a substance called gonin okay so is uh, it participates in the in its structure okay so diamond shaped scales example is polypterus and uh, sc pensat is also uh, you know these are the mortal fishes or bony fishes polypterus and sc pensat lepidosteus also and then paleo nisqaid scale a kind of gonoid scale Wait. Paleo nisqaid scale. So it is a type of rhomboid or gonoid type of, you know, scale. So it's it contains three layers. Paleo nisqaid. So here, 
the outer enamel like danai so the second bony sorry second layer is bony isopodine okay so outer enamel like ganai middle is uh, caspin and inner one is bony isopodine okay g c i anyway so outer enamel like ganai middle caspin or caspin so and inner one is bony isopodine no. kind of Uh, three layers are present such a uh, type of uh, you know such type of uh, scales are ganoid or rhomboid type of uh, scale their shape is a uh, diamond shape and then lepidosteus has lepidocoid type of scales with two layers only lepidosteus contains so two layered uh, scale outer ganoid and inner bony uh, isopodine such kind of you know uh, scale, uh, tail sorry scale is called you know lepidocoid uh, type of scales okay so example is lepidosteus of you know uh, holasty of as bony fishes and the fourth one is we all know that cycloid type of cycloid type of uh, scales so we all know very very well so here like this so they are present like this okay they contain growth lines so outer layer is bony layer okay so and uh, if we cut this animal okay like this and if we observe its ts area it contains upper bony layer and lower fibrous connective tissue layer so example dipnai fishes or lung fishes okay so they do contain uh, cycloid type of you know cycloid type of scale surface is emia like lower teleaster like a uh, carps cards uh, fishes they contain cycloid type of you know the uh, scales yeah the last one is pinite type of scales same scale so it is similar to tinide okay and but uh, it contains a saw edged or you know uh, peripheral uh, comb like teeth or spines are present smaller non harmful okay so such kind of uh, uh, modified tinide so modified cyclide uh, scales are you know the tinite type of scales okay so they are similar to what peripheral hunter complex teeth are spine so torpedo and catfishes so they anyway tinite example is modern higher teleas fishes okay so here some important point torpedo and catfishes torpedo and catfishes they do not contain scales okay eels contains very very minute sized uh, scales and in tetradon which is known as blowfish and porcupine fish called 
dioda so they contain large spine like scales scales are modified into large spine so peda peda mumela maarpotay sir scales so the trunk fish called ostracean so the scales form a bony box in sturgeon isipenser they they form that means they means here the tenoid uh, scales go okay so anyway in sturgeon isipenser they form stout bony plates or scutes of bony armor okay sturgeon la bony armor untu and then the shark teeth so they are nothing but so they are modified placoid scales pristis so what is pristis yesterday okay so like this right So pristis saw edges are modified placoid scales. Hippocampus and five fish called cygnathus. So their scales form a bony ring or body in hippocampus and five fish cygnathus. So scales form a bony ring around body. So so that is about the fishes uh, fishes. so let's wait right so is it uh, visible karmarthna madhu yes sir yes sir can be sir can be sir and be so our next class is amphibia amphi means both bio means life so they, they can live both are aquatic in aquatic and terrestrial mode of you know environments such a kind of uh, animals are generally called amphibians so they are originated in devonian period ee nenu vatti cheppaledamo idi kachithanga one of the questions undu edi ee devonian period uh, you know cretaceous period so here the amphibians are formed from so this week amphibians from from astral lepids so manaku sarcoterigi lo crossoterigi order untundi so order lo so astral lepids are extinct fishes untai so from this these extinct fishes okay so the amphibians are gen you know evolved or developed or formed so here the carboniferous or car carboniferous uh, period is generally regarded as the golden age of amphibians because in this period the amphibians number uh, is increased a lot and uh, this one is a smallest vertebrate group in terms of number okay so total ga motta amphibians enne ok 7000 plus species maatrame unnai okay this is the smallest vertebrate group and out of those 7000 plus uh, you know species okay so 90% uh, of amphibians are frogs okay so anyway amphibia includes salamanders newts and cecilians and frogs also
right so here there is a analyze the correction So it includes salamanders, newts, Sicilians, and crab, rana, concrete, ora. So this is the only marine amphibian. Maybe Aragotsu or other folks will. So this is an exceptional. So generally, amphibians live in uh, ponds, lakes, or uh, near to those areas. So in this situation, here only rana, concrete, ora, it is a a marine uh, amphibian and then water ecology so it is generally uh, so restricted to fishes so here study of amphibians is known as water ecology polisarlu frog ani kuda istadu adi kuda correct and another famous example here we have. So that is called Andreas Davidianus. So its common name is Chinese giant salamander. Chinese giant salamander. This is the largest living amphibian. Largest living amphibian. Right. So here Rana Goliath or Kanrava Goliath. So its name was changed. So the Kanrava Goliath or Rana Goliath is the largest frog. And the Brazilian Dancy Cephali tree frog is generally smallest. You know, Brazilian uh, Bansi cephalic tree frog. So that is the smallest type of uh, amphibian. Uh, its size is about 9.8 millimeters. And uh, then general characters. General characters of Pisces are uh, fishes. So they are the first terrestrial chordates. The whole uh, the, uh, major success, you know, uh, one second. Not done. Check it out. Definitely. Okay. Set the right. Right. So. The amphibians are first terrestrial cortex. They are amphibians. They are uh, generally regarded as transitional animals. And in the aquatic environment, the terrestrial environment, the animals. They are the cold-blooded or poikilothermic animals, okay, or uh, ectothermal animals. So they exhibit, they undergo, they undergo hibernation and aestivation. So I think you know this. Hibernation means so winter, uh, you know, uh, a kind of uh, sleep and uh, aestivation is uh, summer sleep. Okay. So that is an inactive stage. So then the body is divided into head and trunk. So skin is, uh, you know, soft and uh, moisture and uh, multicellular multicellular glandular uh, skin is present so that's why the skin is uh, soft and moisture and there are uh, these glands called you know parotid glands so which are a kind of poisonous glands which are present in bufo a, a frog and uh, you know two pairs of 
pentadactylus uh, limbs are present okay rendu chethala limbs are present ve aidu veel unnatundi okay so class or bore la netpatti undavu and apoda animals so a kind of uh, you know amphibians uh, they, they are like uh, earthworms they do not contain the limbs so the coelom is divided into pericardial uh, coelom and pleuro visceral uh, coelom and uh, teeth are homodont acrodont pleurodont and polypleurodont so homo means all teeth are similar okay right so here if the teeth i have already explained for example if it is jawbone if the teeth is directly attached to this jawbone so that that kind of arrangement is known as acro dont type of teeth pleuro means so little bit later koncham than exact pine arrow konja pakka cut pakka pit pakka jawbone cut attached then pleuro pleuro dont ani kuda pilistam and then polypleo dont so many times teeth are uh, lost and uh, reformed again so that that is a special feature of you know polypleo dont type of dentition and there are no salivary glands and these are the carnivores almost all the amphibians and the uh, anus opens into cloaca here the cloaca is major one okay both urinogenital duct and the uh, you know uh, alimentary canal is opened uh, into a cloaca through uh, through which the alimentary canal and the urinogenital uh, canal opens outside and the respiration is of three types so one is cutaneous respiration okay pakko pharyngeal pakko pharyngeal type respiration and pulmonary respiration so heart heart contains three chambers so two auricles and one ventricle okay so here heart from heart carotid visceral and pulmonary arteries or iotas are originated okay so and the kidneys are mesonephrous type and these animals are urotelic animals okay so but uh, larva ammonia excretes so and uh, in the uh, cardiates are in the whole animal kingdom the first urinary bladder was formed in these animals only okay then so brain contains one two layered uh, meninges okay so the meninges are outer pia mater inner dura mater okay so that is about the so brain uh, and meninges so external na nostrils open into internal nostrils so larynx was formed for the first time in whole animal kingdom so larynx okay so then there are vocal cords are also present in the subclass anura so here so 
Larynx was found first time in uh, amphibians. So vocal cords uh, are present in the enura order and uh, external ear is absent. So middle ear contains a bone called columellaris bones, which is the modified part of hyomandibular of fish. Okay. So modified hyomandibular of fishes. So it is nothing but the columellaris. Okay. So there are uh, eye glands like hadarian glands, lacrimal glands. So hadarian glands are the, the secret oil, lacrimal glands secret water. Okay. So generally, so the tap water or flow, mana bore water. So anyway, so here, uh, hadarian Hadarian glands are present and lacrimal glands are also present in the eyes. Okay. So, Hadarian glands secret oil, lacrimal glands secrets water or watery fluid like, uh, you know, bore water. Anyway, so they are nothing but the ears. So, uh, uh, they contain more, you know, salts, like our uh, marine water, more at the sea water, or it be, they contain more salts. Okay, uh, in uh, our uh, underground water, they contain medium, moderate uh, salts. Okay, so tears are like that. So, anyway, Chemical. So these two glands are eye glands, hydrogen glands. So a kind of oil is produced that cleans the eyes, lacrimal glands, uh, ears are tear glands. So anyway, both upper and lower eyelids are present. Nictitating membrane is present, just like the fishes. And uh, skull. Skull is dicondylic type of skull. I won't explain it. I have already explained it. Procellus type of, you know, uh, what we call the procellus type of uh, vertebrum means like this. If the anterior part of the centrum is concave and posterior it is convex, so such kind of, uh, you know, uh, vertebrae or vertebrum is called uh, procellus type of. Uh, what is that? Okay, so but amphi uh, apoda and urodila animals they contain amphicillus type of vertebrae. Right. So, but in a apoda and uh, urodila amphicillus type of uh, vertebrae are present and the uh, sternum formed are present for the first time in the animal kingdom okay so then so these are unisexual sexual dimorphism is seen so we can identify male and female uh, frogs by external features so there are no copulatory organs. So the, so external fertilization takes place generally. So pseudo uh, copulation also occurs. Uh, then anyway, some are viviparous. Very very few amphibians are viviparous. So majority of the amphibians are oviparous. And uh, eggs are uh, miso leg lister eggs are present and. Uh, Cleavage is holoblastic, that means complete zygote, zygote participate in the cleavage. So these are the anomalies. So in the during embryonic uh, development, the first primary uh, extra embryonic layer, the omnion is absent. So this one is anomalies and the indirect development takes place. Start for larva. 
is common. Then, so classification. So Kingsley Noble, a scientist or naturalist, divided it into two subclasses. So one is Stegocephalia. Stegocephalia. So another one is Lysophilia. Okay. So Stegocephalia animals are extinct; they are not living at present. Okay. So there are three orders are present. So one is Labyrinthodontia. Labyrinthodontia, Philospondyli. So and Lipospondyli. So these are the three orders, and uh, Lysamphibia. So these are the extant, that means living uh, amphibians. So it has three orders again. So Epoda, Eurodila, and Inura. So these are actually uh, presently living. Amphibians. Okay, so these are the extinct type of so, right. So amphibia is divided into two subclasses. One is Stegocephalia and Lisa amphibia. Stegocephalia contains Labyrinthodontia, Philospondyle, Lipospondyle. And the Lissa amphibia contains so three orders again, Epoda, Eurodila, and Enula. See, the Stegocephalians are extinct. They are uh, not living uh, at present. But whereas Lissa amphibians, they are extant type of, uh, that means they are living now. So Epoda, Panada, Eurodila, and Enula. So, in your includes the drugs. Anyway, so it is today's class. Uh, let's continue. Oh.